The natural world can be both beautiful and terrifying, and the study of prehistoric creatures provides valuable insights into the evolution of our planet's ecosystem over millions of years. But some of these extinct monsters will make you very thankful that they are no longer with us. From one of the largest predators to have ever existed on this planet, to a massive insect that will make your skin crawl, here are 20 terrifying animals you're glad are extinct. Number 20, Helicoprion. The Helicoprion is an extinct fish with a unique and terrifying feature that has fascinated paleontologists for years. This ancient predator lived during the Permian and Triassic periods approximately 290 to 250 million years ago, and its fossils have been found in various parts of the world, including Asia and North America. What makes the Helicoprion so terrifying is its jaw structure. Unlike most sharks and fish that have teeth arranged in rows, the Helicoprion has a single spiral row of teeth that extend down into its lower jaw. These teeth formed a circular saw-like structure that could have been up to 10 feet in length, making it one of the most fearsome predators of its time. Scientists are still not entirely sure how the Helicoprion used its unique jaws to hunt and feed, but it's likely that it used them to slice and shred its prey, which could have included other fish and even marine reptiles. While this ancient predator may have been terrifying, it's a relief that it went extinct millions of years ago. However, its fossil records provides valuable insights into the evolution of ancient marine life and the adaptations that enabled certain species to become apex predators. Now it's time for the star topic. Have you heard the saying, life imitates art? Well, in this case, the exact opposite happened. An American scientist claims to have found proof that there was once a living being eerily similar to a xenomorph from the movie Alien. Could this ancient creature be an inspiration to the movie? If that was the case, art would be imitating life. These creepy looking creatures existed before even dinosaurs. In fact, the experts think they might have been the ancestors of all reptiles on Earth. They did have acid blood, and they evolved that way to make the creature virtually unkillable. So, if they were such perfect killing machines, how come they went extinct? Well, it is unclear as of yet why that happened. The mad scientist is convinced that these animals actually turned on each other because of the lack of prey. In other words, these animals were so perfectly unbeatable, the only thing that could have caused their demise was themselves. Thank you for being extinct. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that being said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, Edestus. Edestus is an extinct shark-like fish that lived during the Carboniferous and Permian periods approximately 312 to 252 million years ago. Fossils of Edestus have been found in various parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and Asia. What made Edestus so terrifying was its unique tooth structure. The fish had teeth that were up to six times its length, forming a saw-like apparatus that could extend from its lower jaw. Its mouth consisted of isolated curved blades or whorls that were studded with teeth, making it one of the most fearsome predators of its time. Its name alone should give you an idea of how terrifying this fish was. Edestus is a Greek name derived from the word edest, which means to devour, in reference to the horrifying quality and size of the species' teeth. Edestus likely lived in shallow seas, where it could hunt and feed on smaller fish, as well as crustaceans and other marine life. It was a powerful and efficient predator, able to swim at high speed speeds and inflict serious damage on its prey. Although it's fascinating to study the ancient creatures that once roamed our planet, it's also a relief that Edestus went extinct a long time ago. Imagine going for a swim at the beach, finding yourself face to face with one of these. No thank you. Number 18, Titanoboa. Titanoboa is an extinct species of snake that lived approximately 58 to 60 million years ago during the Paleocene Epoch. This is also one of the largest snakes ever discovered. It is estimated to have reached lengths of up to 42 feet and weighed as much as 2,500 pounds. To put things in perspective, this snake was longer than a school bus and would have had trouble fitting through an office door. Yeah, it was huge. Fossils of Titanoboa have been found in what is now La Guajira in Colombia, 
South America. What makes Titano Boa so terrifying is its sheer size and strength. The snake was a powerful predator, and its size allowed it to prey on large animals such as crocodiles and turtles. It was an apex predator that likely had few or no natural enemies. Fortunately, Titano Boa went extinct along with the dinosaurs, which is a relief. as encountering a creature this large and powerful in the wild would have been terrifying for humans. However, the discovery of Titanoboa adds to our understanding of the ancient world and the diversity of life that once existed on our planet. Research on Titanoboa has shed light on the climate and environment of the Paleocene Epoch, which was warmer and more humid than current environments. It is also an example of how animals have adapted to changing environmental conditions over millions of years. Number 17, the Pentacopterus decorahensis. Pentacopterus decorahensis is a prehistoric marine predator that lived approximately 467 million years ago during the Ordovician period. It was first discovered in 2010 in northeast Iowa by a team of paleontologists from the University of Iowa. The Pentacopterus was named after an ancient Greek warship, the Pentaconta, and the Decora Shale, the rock formation in which it was found. The Pentacopterus is an arthropod, a group of animals that include insects and crustaceans and of course, scorpions. It was one of the largest predators of its time, measuring up to six feet in length. It lived in the shallow sea that covered much of what is now North America during the Ordovician period. It was a fierce predator, equipped with shark spiny legs and pincers that it used to catch and kill its prey. What makes the Pentacoptera so terrifying is its sheer size and ferocity. It was a top predator in its ecosystem and would have preyed on a variety of smaller animals, including trilobites, and other arthropods. Its powerful legs and jaws would have made it a formidable opponent, and it is likely that few creatures would have been able to escape its grasp. Although the Pentacopterus may seem terrifying to us today, it was an important part of the ecosystem during the Ordovician period. It eventually went extinct, along with many other species, as the environment changed and new predators and prey evolved. Number 16. Hallucigenia. Hallucigenia is a bizarre looking creature that lived during the famous Cambrian explosion around 500 million years ago. It was first discovered in the Burgess Shale in British Columbia, Canada in 1977 by Simon Conway Morris. The fossil record of Hallucigenia is sparse, but its discoverers believe that it was a small creature that lived on the ocean floor. The name Hallucigenia was given to the creature due to its strange and surreal appearance. It had a long, worm-like body with spines protruding from its back and legs that looks like tentacles. It was only a few centimeters long, but its bizarre appearance make it one of the most memorable creatures of the Cambrian period. Although Hallucigenia may look terrifying, it was likely a harmless creature that fed on algae or other small organisms. Its spines may have been used for defense or to help it move around on the ocean floor. However, its strange appearance has led some to speculate that it may have been the inspiration for some of the surreal creatures that appear in modern art and literature. Hallucigenia, like many other Cambrian creatures, went extinct long ago. Though it may seem strange and terrifying to us today, it was simply one of the many unique and wonderful creatures that evolved and adapted to life on our planet, just like us humans. Number 15. Meganeura Meganeura was a giant prehistoric insect that lived approximately 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. It was discovered in the fossilized swamps of what is now Europe and North America. Meganeura was a type of dragonfly that had a wingspan of up to 29 inches, making it one of the largest insects to ever exist. What makes Meganeura so terrifying is its enormous size and its powerful jaws. It is thought that Meganeura was a predator that fed on other insects and small animals. Its wings were also covered in tiny teeth-like structures which could have made a loud buzzing sound as it flew through the air. It's easy to imagine the terror that this giant insect could have inspired in its prey. Despite its intimidating presence, Meganeura eventually went extinct, along with many other species, at the end of the Permian period. This was likely due to changes in the environment and competition from other predators. You know how when you look at amplified images of insects, they look absolutely horrifying? Well, with the Meganeura, no amplification needed. These gigantic carnivorous insects terrorized the ancient world. Number 14, Dunkleosteus. 
Dunkleosteus was an ancient fish that lived during the late Denovian period, approximately 360 million years ago. It was a large, heavily armored fish that could grow up to 33 feet in length and weigh several tons. Dunkleosteus lived in the oceans that covered much of the Earth during this time, and its fossils have been found in various locations around the world. What makes Dunkleosteus so terrifying is its immense size and powerful jaws. It had sharp, bone-crushing teeth that were capable of crushing through even the thickest armor or bone. Dunkleosteus was a top predator and likely fed on other ancient fishes, including giant sharks. Its armor plates were covered with sharp spines that may have been used for defense or to attract mates. Despite its fearsome appearance, Dunkleosteus eventually went extinct, along with many other species, during the late Denovian extinction event. This was likely due to changes in the environment and competition from other predators. While there is no exact measure of the strength of this ancient fish, it is believed to have had one of the most powerful jaws of any vertebrae in history. According to simulations, a large specimen was able to generate a bite force of up to 8,000 newtons, which is roughly eight times the biting force of a modern-day alligator. Imagine that! With its massive jaws and sharp teeth, Dunkleosteus was a fearsome predator that could easily take down any marine opponent in the Denovian ocean ecosystem. Number 13. Deinosuchus Deinosuchus were giant crocodiles. Enough said, right? They lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 80 to 75 million years ago. These massive animals roamed the shallow seas and river systems that covered much of North America at the time. Their fossils have been found in various locations around the United States, including Texas, Montana, and New Jersey. What made Deinosuchus so hands down terrifying was their massive size, with some estimates suggesting that they could have grown up to 35 feet in length and weighed as much as 8,000 pounds. They had incredibly powerful jaws that were lined with numerous sharp teeth, which they used to capture and devour their prey that included other dinosaurs. With a bite force potentially stronger than that of a T-Rex, it is easy to see why they were apex predators of their time. Despite their formidable reputation, Deinosuchus went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, along with the non-avian dinosaurs. Their specific cause of extinction is not fully understood, but competition with other predators changes in climate, or some combination of factors may have played a role. While it is fascinating to study the fossils of these ancient creatures, we can all be thankful that these massive beasts no longer roam the Earth. Their massive size and terrifying jaws would undoubtedly make them a formidable predator even in modern times. Number 12. Ratzilla Okay, if you don't like modern-day rats, you will definitely not like this one. Ratzilla, also known as Josefo Artigesia Monesi, was a rodent that lived in South America approximately 3 million years ago. This massive creature was estimated to weigh up to a ton and had a skull the size of a bull's, making it one of the largest rodents to have ever existed. Ratzilla's fossils were discovered in Uruguay in the late 2000s, and since then, scientists have been studying the animal to learn more about its anatomy anatomy and behavior. It is believed that Ratzilla was a herbivore, feeding on a diet of grasses and other vegetation that was abundant in the area during its time. Despite being a vegetarian, Ratzilla was a terrifying creature due to its size and formidable appearance. Its powerful jaws and sharp teeth would have made it more than a worthy adversary for any predator, and its massive size would have allowed it to easily dominate smaller animals in its environment. Fortunately, Ratzilla went extinct long before humans arrived on the scene, so we never had to face the terrifying prospect of encountering this giant rodent in the wild. Number 11. Anomalacaris Anomalacaris is a prehistoric genus of marine animals that lived in the Cambrian period around 541 to 845 million years ago. That is a long time ago. They were one of the largest predators of their time, with some species growing up to 3.3 feet in length. Anomalacaris fossils have been found in several different locations around the world, including Canada, China, and Australia. What makes Anomalacaris so terrifying is its appearance and hunting 
hunting strategy, it had a circular mouth with razor-sharp spines that it would use to eviscerate its prey. It also had large compound eyes that allowed it to detect movement from far away, making it an effective hunter. Anomalocaris had a segmented body that made it much more agile and flexible than many of the other Cambrian animals that lived alongside it. Think of it as a massive, angry, and powerful shrimp. And you get an Anomalocaris. Scary, right? But despite its fearsome appearance, Anomalocaris was not invincible. It eventually went extinct, possibly due to competition from other predators or changes in its environment. Today, scientists are still studying Anomalocaris fossils to learn more about how it lived and evolved. By unlocking the mysteries of this ancient predator, they hope to gain a better understanding of the early history of life on Earth. Number 10. Short-Faced Bear the short-faced bear, also known as Archodosimus, was a massive bear that lived in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. It was one of the largest carnivores of its time, standing up to 6 feet tall and weighing up to 2,000 pounds. The short-faced bear was able to run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest runners in the United Kingdom. This animal was so terrifying due to its sheer size, sure, but mainly due to its aggressive nature. Its powerful jaws and razor-sharp claws made it an apex predator able to take down large prey such as bison, mammoths, and even other predators like saber-toothed cats. The short-faced bear inhabited a diverse range of habitats ranging from forests, plains, and even tundra environments. Its size and strength allowed it to adapt to changing conditions and allowed it to dominate across a vast range of ecosystems. Despite its impressive size and strength, the short-faced bear went extinct around 11,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and overhunting by early human populations. While this animal may have been a formidable predator, we can be grateful that it is no longer around to pose a threat for us. Number 9. Mega Piranha Megapiranha is an extinct species of carnivorous freshwater fish that lived during the Mycocene Epoch, approximately 10 to 12 million years ago. Their fossils have been found in South American river basins, including the Amazon River and its tributaries. Megapiranhas were much larger and more powerful than modern piranhas, with teeth that were three times larger in size. They were also much more aggressive and dangerous, capable of attacking and killing much larger prey, such as giant turtles and pre historic fish. It is believed that they had a highly specialized jaw structure that allowed them to deliver powerful bites with a force up to 50 times their own body weight. The discovery of mega piranha fossils have led scientists to reevaluate the ecological role of predatory fish in South America river systems during the Miocene epoch. They were likely top predators in their environment, and their presence would have had a significant impact on the other species of fish that lived in the same rivers. While mega piranhas lived long before humans, their terrifying size and aggression are a reminder of the dangers that can exist in the natural world. Thankfully, they are not around today to pose a threat to modern day swimmers or fishermen. The Great Gigantopithesis Gigantopithesus was a prehistoric ape that once roamed the forests of Southeast Asia. It was also the biggest primate that has ever walked the Earth. These enormous primates lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, which lasted from around 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. While they had a massive size, standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing as much as 595 pounds, they were herbivores and had a diet consisting of bamboo and other plant materials. Gigantopithesus Pathesis is a terrifying animal because of its sheer size and strength. Given their immense bulk, it is no wonder they ruled the jungle as the largest primate to have ever lived. While scientists debate on why they went extinct, some theories suggest that their inability to adapt to a changing climate, as well as human intervention, led to their demise. Luckily for us, Gigantopithesis went extinct a long time ago, so there is no need to fear these creatures today. Although, there are no known fossils more recent than three 300,000 years ago. Some evidence speculates that they may have survived until as recently as 100,000 years ago. Overall, Gigantopithesis is a fascinating and mysterious animal that has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. In a way, they were our very, very large and distant cousins. However, we can all agree that despite their huge numbers, we are all glad they don't roam the Earth today. Number 7. Hust's Eagle 
Hust's eagle, also known as Harpagornis Morai, was a giant eagle that lived in New Zealand during the Pleistocene Epoch. These eagles were the largest eagles to have ever lived, and could weigh up to 15 kilograms with a wingspan of over 3 meters. Hust's eagles were apex predators and are believed to have fed mainly on the flightless moa bird, which they hunted to extinction around 1400 AD. Due to its massive size and predatory nature, Hust's eagle is considered one of the most terrifying birds of prey to have ever lived. With its sharpened beak and talons, it could easily take down prey that weighed more than itself. We wouldn't have a chance against this magnificent predator. The, the discovery of giant moa bones with eagle talon marks is evidence that Hust's eagles were fierce hunters. Some even speculate that it could have attacked humans, but there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. Fortunately, Hust's eagle went extinct around 1400 AD, likely due to the extinction of its primary food source, the mower. While it's unfortunate to lose such a majestic creature, it's a relief that we don't have to live in fear of encountering it. Nevertheless, Hust's eagle remains a fascinating and terrifying part of New Zealand's natural history. Number 6. Megalania Megalania also known as Varanus Priscus, was a giant lizard that lived in Australia during the Pleistocene era. Approximately 1.6 million to 40,000 years ago, it was one of the largest lizards to have ever existed, with some reaching lengths of up to 20 feet and weighing over 1,000 pounds. Megalania lived in a variety of environments, including forests, woodlands, and grasslands. It was a top predator in its ecosystem and likely fed on a variety of prey, including other large reptiles, marsupials, and birds. What made Megalania so terrifying was its crush, was its size and strength. It had long, sharp teeth and powerful jaws that could crush bone. Its muscular build and sharp claws made it a formidable hunter that could take down prey much larger than itself. Its reptilian skin was also incredibly tough and difficult to penetrate, making it a difficult animal to defend against. Fortunately for us, Megalania went extinct around the same time as many other large prehistoric animals, like likely due to changing climate and human activity. Its closest living relative is the Komodo dragon, which is still an impressive and fearsome predator in its own right. This king of the lizards was a massive and terrifying predator that once roamed the Australian landscape. We're very lucky that we don't have to face such a fierce and formidable opponent in modern times. Number 5. Forest Rhapsody Forest Rhapsody, also known as Terror Birds, were a group of flightless birds that lived in South America during the Cenozoic Era, approximately 60 million to 1.8 million years ago. These birds were large and terrifying, with some species standing over 10 feet tall and weighing over 500 pounds. They had large, strong beaks that could deliver a devastating bite and were powerful hunters, preying on a variety of animals, including other birds, mammals, and reptiles. What made the Forest Rhapsody so so terrifying was their size, strength, and ferocity. They had powerful legs that allowed them to run at incredible speeds, reaching up to 60 miles an hour. This made them incredibly efficient hunters that could easily catch and kill their prey, sometimes taking down animals that were much larger than themselves. Their large, sharp talons were also deadly weapons that could quickly dispatch their prey. Fortunately for us, the forest rhapsody went extinct around 1.8 million years ago, likely due to ecological changes and competition from other predators. While we can only imagine the terror these birds cause in their time, we can be thankful that they are no longer around to cause us harm. Number 4. Argentavis the Argentavis Mysificens, also known as the Great and Powerful Bird, was a prehistoric bird that lived during the late Miocene to the late Pleistocene era, around 6 million to 10,000 years ago. These birds were massive in size, comparable to that of a small plane in fact, with a wingspan close to 25 feet from tip to tip, and an average weight weighing anywhere between 150 and 250 pounds. They were the largest bird of prey to have ever lived. Despite their size, they were remarkable be agile and could soar and glide for hours on end, using their keen eyesight to spot prey from great distances. They primarily lived in northwestern Argentina, South America, where they would soar over open terrain in search of prey, which would have included large mammals such as ground sloths and giant armadillos. While they may seem terrifying to us today, the Argentavis went extinct at least 10,000 years ago, alongside many other animals that once roamed the earth. The reasons for their extinction 
extinction are not entirely clear, but it is thought that changes in climate, habitat loss, hunting, and competition with other predators may have played a role. Nevertheless, Argentavis were an impressive and formidable species. Their size and hunting skills would have made them a top predator during their existence, but ultimately, they were unable to survive the changing world around them, leading to their eventual extinction. Number 3. Arthropleura Arthropleura was a giant millipede that lived during the late Carboniferous period, around 340 to 280 million years ago. It was a massive arthropod that could grow up to 6.5 feet in length and was a foot wide. These creatures lived in swampy environments that were abundant during this period, feeding on decaying organic matter and other small invertebrae. They were widespread throughout Europe and North America. Their fossils have been found in areas that once hosted large swamps swamps such as Scotland, Canada, and the United States. Despite its herbivorous diet, Arthropleura was a frightening creature that would strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest of predators. Its size alone made it a formidable opponent, and the creature's defense mechanisms were equally terrifying. For instance, it had a hard-armored exoskeleton that could withstand even the most determined attacker. In addition, some species had sharp spines or other protrusions on their body which could injure or deter predators. In other words, while Arthropleura may be a fascinating creature to study, I am certainly glad that it went extinct millions of years ago. The thought of encountering one of these massive millipedes in the wild is enough to give anyone the heebie-jeebies. Number 2. Beelzebufo Ampinga Beelzebufo ampinga is an extinct species of prehistoric frog that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 72 million years ago. This ginormous frog lived in Madagascar, occupying the moist environments of the island. According to scientific studies, this frog weighed up to 10 pounds and could grow up to 16 inches long, making it the largest frog species ever discovered. Beelzebufo ampinga was a vicious predator that had an insatiable appetite. Its large large mouth and sharp teeth made it a formidable hunter, preying upon small reptiles and perhaps also other frogs. It even had the ability to eat vertebrae that were nearly as big as itself. This makes it one of the most fearsome amphibians to ever exist on this planet. The discovery of Beelzebufo and Pinga was very exciting for paleontologists, as it filled in some gaps in our understanding of prehistoric amphibians. However, the discovery of this massive frog also made it clear how dangerous the prehistoric world could be. This creature's ferocity and predatory nature should not be underestimated. It is fortunate that Beelzebufo Ampinga is long extinct, as such a large and aggressive predator would pose a significant threat to humans if it still existed today. Number 1. Megalodon Megalodon, the infamous and gigantic prehistoric shark, lived during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, approximately 2.6 to 23 million years ago. This apex predator ranged throughout the world's oceans. It lived in most regions of the ocean, except near the poles. The species lived in warm, shallow waters with sufficient food for its survival. Megalodon was one of the biggest predators to ever exist on Earth, growing up to 60 feet long and weighing up to 77 tons. Its massive jaws had many rows of razor-sharp teeth that could grow over seven inches in length, making it the most fearsome and efficient ocean predator ever. It was a top-tier predator, preying on whales, dolphins, sea lions, and even other sharks. Its bite had the strength to crush the bones of its prey, and it was capable of eating 2,500 pounds of food daily. It is clear that Megalodon's ferocity and predatory nature make it a truly terrifying creature. Its massive size and vicious appetite made it a top predator in its ecosystem, and while it is now extinct, it remains a symbol of the awe-inspiring prehistoric creatures that once roamed the Earth. It is fortunate for humans that Megalodon is no longer a threat, given the significant risk it would pose in today's world. Today, none of these terrifying animals exist anymore, but they all serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that has ever existed on our planet throughout its history, and the many strange and fascinating creatures that have come and gone over the millennia. What about you? If you had the chance to see one of these animals in real life, which one would you choose and why? Tell us all about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.